Thanks, Marshall. Uh, maybe you can try going down the ski jump there sometime soon. We've got a sunset view over Lake Champlain right now with uh, a very clear sky still. So taking a while for the clouds to increase, that will give us another cold one tonight. It's 18 in Burlington. Wind chill 7, but I think the actual air temperatures will be single digits for many by morning. Already is 8 in Craftsbury, 9 at the base of Whiteface. So yes, yeah, single digits for our ozone show in Lake Placid tonight, 22 in Springfield, 13 in Messina. So we have a storm on the way, but it's a warm one, believe it or not. Starts with the wind tomorrow, then we add in rain on Thursday, potentially finishing as snow on Friday morning. Nothing showing up though on Storm Tracker yet. Have to wait a while. The first thing, really, the wind for tomorrow, these wind speeds here are the sustained speeds, about 30, 35 miles an hour. But right in the Champlain Valley, where this will be an issue, the gusts will be more like 50 or 60 this time, even tomorrow night. So that'll keep us busy watching for a few power outages. I think Route 11 in northern New York will see that too. But no rain at all, no snow at all tomorrow. It is a dry day. There'll be some sun mixing with the clouds. The rain really comes in by Thursday morning. This is 8 o'clock Thursday, raining pretty good. And it rains most of Thursday, a little bit lighter, perhaps right in the Champlain Valley with some downsloping. But we really have to watch Friday, Thursday night and Friday for this switchover. I know Futurecast is very aggressive showing all of this pink, meaning icing, and the blue, meaning snow. But a lot of other ideas don't have quite as much snow. Bottom line, best chance for that switchover would be northern New York, the Route 11 area, just where the cold gets in quickest less of a chance for the switch over as you move south, but we'll keep an eye on it. Very confident in the wind though for the Champlain Valley and the northern Adirondacks tomorrow. We've got a wind advisory for gusts of 50 plus tomorrow afternoon and evening. So that's why it's concern number one. You can see the orange area here right over Lake Champlain and especially the eastern side. So not so much Plattsburgh, but more so Burlington up through St. Albans and Swanton for that 50 mile an hour potential and also Malone there in the right around the area of Route 11 for the wind coming off the Adirondacks. So that is all through the second half of tomorrow. Really warms us up though, 50 the high on Thursday and then the cool down for the weekend is exactly that. It's a cool down, not super cold. A little bit of snow possible on Saturday with a clipper. So we've got a cold night tonight with the clouds coming in late and then for tomorrow it is dry the whole day but the real gusty wind for some of us and temperatures getting up to 40 or close to it, 40 to the high in Messina and for southern Vermont a 40 in Rockingham as well. So the rain is here Thursday. It may end as some snow, maybe accumulating snow in northern parts of New York. Leftover flurry during the day Friday. More snow showers on Saturday with a clipper, but that is a, a minor thing. And we're back in the 40s for President's Day and the days following that next week. Brian, Alice. <laughs>